Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. So one thing what I saw here with Gatsby is if you want to use the state management like Redux or Context API, there is a different way to use it because the concept of these state management tools are that you are supposed to wrap it around the root component. But in the context, in, not in context, but in Gatsby, you don't have a root component here. So if you see here, the index page, orders page, these pages are completely separate from the other uh, create react app thing. So this is not a root, this is one page, orders is one page. So there is a way to do it and the way is about using the Gatsby browser and Gatsby SSR. So let's take a look how we can wrap the state around the Gatsby root. So if this is where I was going to take you to. So how to use Redux. So for that one you don't need to use a wrap page element but for this one we need to use a wrap root element. So simply you need to copy and paste this particular code and another thing which we will be doing is uh, we will changing the will be changing the orders context to a react component so i'll tell you why and but before that let me quickly complete this thing so here as you can see it's showing react redux we don't use it so we don't uh, need it but this is where we will have the react component which i was talking about okay so we don't need the store we don't need the create store so let me remove it and i'll have a globe i'll just name it right now we don't have this component but global state provider and i'll have to use equal to because i am not sure if this guy is allow import but require and have glow not global but orders yeah src context and orders context because this is the file which i'll be modifying okay so as you can see we don't have the provider here so i'll use a global state provider we don't have stores so i'll even remove this one and all you need to do is simply copy and paste the same thing inside of your browser. Okay, so now let's go to the orders context. So as you can see here, we had the create context which had the order and the add order function. So all we need to do here is we need to import everything which we did in index into this particular order context so first of all i'll import the initial state because this is something which we will need here okay so the next thing i would like to have is this function which will have it in the in this function and uh, now react component so let me create a react component global state provider and this is going to take in children so anything you see here in children just pass it down okay and return and what we need to return here is we'll need to have providers here so I'll keep it empty at this point and I'll quickly import no, not import sorry constant state dispatch because we will need the use reducers here reducer because everything which we did in context we are supposed to an in index we are supposed to get it here so reducer we don't have it right now but initial state okay so order reducer I'll import it from import uh, how do we have it? Let's see. Okay, it's by default. So, 
import reducers from order reducers okay I'll just name it order reducer order reducer okay and yep this is looking good and what we need to do here is this context is supposed to be the wrapper so orders context I'll just name it a bit differently so orders context and here is going to be order context as well and children okay so this is going to take in a value this value will be state state and I can even write just state but I'll need to have orders uh, state dot order so that's why state dot orders let's have it in this way and export global context provider let's do it in this way export constant export constant global state provider okay all right so this is the provider which we will call in at this point and we already I guess did so but one thing is it is uh, exported as a constant so you need to do this also here okay so this is going to break because this compilation happens when we are uh, when the node like runs when it is building the development environment okay one another thing is as this is a react component so what we need to do here is import react and this error is going to go away and there's another error which might come up in a bit but at this point this is looking good let's uh, stop the server and restart it okay this is going well let's be server okay reducers we had the required reducer so we don't need to worry about that and building okay all right yeah this is something I realized after I created and added those components I already created the project with uh, with the router like react router dome but then I realized that Gatsby has its own routing. So for the video, I decided to switch from router dome to Gatsby routing. So, all right. So great thing is this is running and let's see if we have any errors. We have errors on the order speed. Let's see if we have errors here. So we have errors here as well. So let's take a look where exactly is the error. So. okay uh, context directly is not supported and will be removed in the future did you context or provider is supposed to be that's my bad because it's going it's supposed to be context dot provider so if i go to orders context so it's supposed to be react orders dot provider mm, provider okay dot provider okay so this should throw something else right now provider of undefined orders dot provider where is this pages 30 okay index orders okay so we need to remove these things as well so I'm just gonna have an empty bracket okay we don't need the add order nor even we need the the dispatch and everything so add uh, this will this won't be a function so I, I'll do one thing I'll import uh, or have a const uh, context equals to use context and order not a reducer but orders let's see 
okay this is going to take in but I need to export that particular use con uh, create context as well so export constant orders context because this is where I'm going to get the latest orders so for that reason I need to have uh, not this one orders context uh, yep orders context and this is supposed to be here and let's console log context all right so let's see what we have here provider is undefined I removed the provider I didn't refresh it I guess okay so we have this order and let's see on the orders page as well so orders page I don't need to see this I need to see the constant context equals to use context and order state from orders okay and I don't need to see this thing context okay so if I go to orders I'm not gonna see something because link order state what is the issue okay context of undefined and the reason behind that is orders context it's not order state so this is this will remove the error now so let's refresh it okay go back to customization we have everything that we need and let me put in the button to add the order so context dot add order and I'll just have to invoke it so let's see if this thing works all right so orders is just going to we don't need this at this point all I need here is okay we don't have the add order so where is the add order is here okay copy I'll have it in this one add order and okay add order to here all right so this should work now and add order is not defined yes because I haven't imported it so now it will work so if I if I add something it's gonna add it to this one and if I go to orders it's supposed to persist so this is great so we just change and have the root component have the global state so this is just a Gatsby's way of doing it and you you might ne uh, not necessarily need to do it with next i'm not sure i haven't tried it but create react app for sure because it has one global wrapper around it so this is uh, this is only for this particular uh, state management uh, gatsby framework so okay so that, that's all for this video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye and take care